Hi everybody, this is Geeta teacher going to take a brand new subject for you which is economics. This subject is included in social science. You might be wondering why we are going to study this subject economics. The reason is that we are going to study about the economy of the country. You know that is the production of the country, the money matter the money matters and you will notice that all these activities are going to bring in development in our country. In history you have studied about the kings, the queens, their rule, their annexation. In the same manner in geography you have studied all about our environment. In civics or politics you have studied about the political scenario of our country. In the same manner, in this subject, you are going to get a knowledge about the various economic activities taking place in our country. Let me begin the lesson with the help of a story of a village named as Palampur. Now, this village is a hypothetical village. That means what? We are just imagining a village named as Palampur. Now, don't waste your time searching where is Palampur. Palampur. The purpose of the story is just to introduce to you some basic concepts which are relating to the production. Okay, listen to the description about this village Palampur. It is having about 450 families belonging to different castes. The 80% of the families belonging to the upper caste. They have their own and, and their houses are quite large, made of bricks and cement. The scheduled caste, that is the Dalits, comprise only one third of the population. Their houses are made of mud and straw or we can say they live in kacha houses. Children, what you are listening now is a description about this hypothetical village named as Palampur. Farming is the main activity of this village. Some of them are engaged in non-farming activities also. You can see in this slide a pakka house. Upper caste people are residing in these houses who comprise 80% of the population. In this slide you can see kacha houses where the Dalits are residing. Their houses are made of mud and straw. Let's listen to the other features of this place, Palampur. Most of the houses have electricity connections. There are tube wells which run on electricity and which helps the villagers to do small business or we can say non-farming activities. This village is also having two primary schools and one high school. There is a primary health center which is run by the government. This village is also blessed with a private dispensary where the sick are treated. So many features this village has. We can say that this village is well developed. You know electricity is there, education is there, health centers are there to take care of people. Another aspect about this village is it is well connected with the neighboring villages and towns. Example we have Raiganj and Shahapur. You know, all these facilities in the villages will bring in more economic activities and more development. I hope it is clear to you a description about this village Palampur will help you to learn about the economic activities. You can see in this slide 70% of our people are living in villages and engaged in farming activities. Just imagine lot of urbanization has to take place in our country. Only then we can say that we are a developed country.